Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show how we capture the screenshot of the element as well as the pages, full page. And I will also show how we capture the screenshot of the fail test for the playwright script. Okay. So I have created one test here. You can see uh, this is the login test for orange HRM application. Okay. Initially in the before method, I am creating the object of the playwright, browser, and then page. And here I set up the headless equal to fa headless files. Then it will run, run the test on Chromium browser in headed mode. Okay. And here in the teardown, I have browser.close, page.close, playwright.close. Okay. So if I run this test, you will see it will launch the Chromium application and then it will log in, open the URL, log in into the application and then log out. Okay, so done execution. Let's see how we capture the screenshot. Okay, suppose that this is the uh, element of the uh, input box and I want to capture the uh, this user input box look screenshot. So we can call the page.locator, then here call the method screenshot and then here we need to pass the option like locator dot screenshot option dot let me first import this now call the set path path dot get path here we can pass the screenshot name dot png okay so now if i run the test you will see one let me give the input some logical name input dot png so better user input now let me run the test. Yeah, done. So let me refresh the page. You will see the screenshot is captured and is stored at the root. If I click on this, you will see the input box, okay, where admin user is entered. Okay, so next if we want to capture the screenshot of the full page or the current page, then how we do that? Okay, suppose that now I want to capture the screenshot after the enter username or let me call here after the submit. Then we have page dot screenshot method. Within the screenshot method, we need to call the page dot screenshot option then dot set path then here call the paths dot file name like i'm giving this name this dash board dot png file let me run and you will see it will capture the screenshot but this will not capture the full page screenshot Test is running. Done execution. Let me refresh page project. Yeah, you can see dashboard.png is created here. If I open this, you will see the screenshot. But this is not full screenshot. Okay. So if we want to capture the full page screenshot, then we need one additional argument here. At the end, same thing we need to call call. Then we need we can call the set full screenshot equal to true by default this value is false if i mark this full screenshot true then it will capture the full screenshot let me create full dashboard begin with. so 
So running the test again. Yeah, executed. And now if I refresh the project, you will see full page dashboard.png script. And we can scroll this and you can see here, this is captured full page. But if I show this, it will, this is not full page screenshot. This is the screenshot which is visible on the screen. Okay, so using this approach, we can capture the screenshot of the element of the page as well as the full page. Now coming to the step, if our test is failed, then how we capture the screenshot only for the failed test step. Okay, so in that case, we can call here I test result. This is the test ng listeners. Okay, then I can call here if dot status. Result. Let me first show you what is it will return. So here the tear down method will always run whether the test is getting fail or pass. Okay, so if we write any code in the teardown method, then it will always execute. Okay, so now if the test is getting passed, then we are getting result equal to one. Let's see if the test is failed. I am going to comment the click button and going to run the test. So as this method will always execute teardown, whether the test is passed or failed, so what we can do is we can capture this result in this section. Based on result, we can call the screenshot method. Okay, running the test. Now it will not click on the login button and our test will fail. Okay, so let's see when it will fail, what we will get in teardown method. Okay, so when the test passed here, we were getting the one. Now the test is failed. Let's see what output we will get. Two, right? One means pass, two means fail. So what we can do here, we can add a condition if result not equal to one, okay, then we can capture the screenshot. So this page screenshot, full page screenshot, we can call here. Okay, and then we can call here failed test.png. So if result is not equal to one, then it will, we will capture the screenshot. If the result equal to one, in that case, we will not capture the screenshot. So there are some cases when your test is skipped. In that case, it will also capture the screenshot because we are checking only status equal to one. Okay, if this is passed, then it will not capture the screenshot. In other conditions, it will capture the screenshot. So now running the test and uh, you will see when the test will complete or fail, it will capture the screenshot. So now it's looking the locator and dashboard. Now the test is failed. Okay, and it should capture the screenshot. Let me refresh. 
you can see field test.png is created and it captures the login page screenshot. So in this way, we can capture the screenshot of field test. Let me show you when that your test is passed, it will not capture the screenshot. Okay, I uncommented this code. Now the test will pass run successfully. And uh, in the, this case, it should not capture the screenshot. Yeah, execution done. Let me refresh. And here you will not see the failed test. Oh, I added here one semicolon. That's why it is um, capture the screenshot, right? Let me remove this. Now this statement is completed. Okay, so let me delete again and run the test. Uh, let me refresh the project. Yeah, you can see it is not captured the field test screenshot. Okay, but if I comment this, this one, and run the test again, after this time you will see a screenshot will capture because I am not clicking on the login button, so it will fail to find the locator for the user dropdown. So and the test will fail. Once the test will fail, it will come here and check test is failed. Yes, then it will capture the screenshot. Okay, and we will see the we will get the screenshot fail test.png at the root of the project. Yeah, now it's running and checking. Execution done. And if I refresh the project. You will see the fail test dot png. This is the fail test screenshot. Okay, so in this way, using this approach, you can capture the screenshot of your test. Okay, fail test script. Thanks for watching the video. You can like the video, comment, and share with your colleagues and friends, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching the video.